Hello students. Today we start the class with the sixth unit poem Incident of the French Camp. Okay. The title of the poem is Incident of the French Camp and which was written by Robert Browning. Okay, Robert Browning, um, he is the famous writer in uh, English literature and he belongs to 18th century. Okay, he belongs to 18th century and uh, he only belongs to, sorry, established uh, the Victorian society. Okay, and this is very, very Victorian society, not that Queen Victoria pe period, right? And he has written, he wrote many works and uh, we will see about that later and today in the last unit poem it's a very nice poem and a poem it carries a, a wonderful message okay very very wonderful message yeah. what is that uh, that in this poem we are going to see the patriotism i hope you know very well what is patriotism okay patriotism of a young soldier that's what we are going to see in this poem so what is the theme of the poem patriotism of a young french soldier all right and before I enter into the poetic lines we will uh, see the intro about the poem listen carefully very very interesting poem uh, i hope you can uh, understand okay and uh, this is uh, the, the intro of the poem and uh, see napoleon bonaparte you know very well uh, who is napoleon a famous king okay he's uh, very famous for his uh, skills and uh, and his brain right so that napoleon king napoleon bonaparte uh, he belongs to that 18th 17th to 18th century was originally an officer in the french army become the army chief okay he is um, an officer in the french army right in the french army he is the chief of uh, french army and a legendary warrior okay he is a warrior of uh, french so he belongs to Fran uh, france and who later known for his military skill and genius so napoleon is noted for his uh, skill and genius right and the poem incident of the french camp narrates an actual incident see this is the actual incident it is not an imagination it is a real incident that happened in the 18th century okay boys and an actual incident in the war in 1809 so that incident of the french camp that means uh, that in in the french camp uh, there there was a war that war took place in uh, French and to catch Ratisbon okay and uh, when it happened 1809 so 1809 between France and Austria okay so the war occurred between France and Austria and Napoleon is the chief of the France and Austria they didn't give anything and led by Napoleon this is very very important the poem is about a war between france and austria in 1809 and napoleon was standing see in the war uh, to the war napoleon uh, who has sent his commander commander that marshal what do you mean by marshal uh, that padai talabadi abdin soluon la so marshal he sent the marshal um, with his uh, team okay he didn't uh, go to that war place uh, and who was uh, standing near to the battlefield okay napoleon was uh, standing on a little mount a mount you know very well a small peak uh, little mount eagerly looking towards uh, ratisban so ratisban is the name of the place it is in austria actually this french camp uh, that napoleon has sent his team to catch ratisban okay where it is ratisban it is in austria name of the place ratisban so the war um, happened for what purpose to catch ratisban it is in austria and his mind was oppressed with anxious thoughts and he said to himself uh, that all his ambitious plans would come to nothing if lands failed to storm ratisban so actually he uh, uh, napoleon uh, who was uh, standing on a mount and who was waiting for the result of the war okay he has planned very well and uh, who has sent his marshal that marshal i told you, you know marshal the name of the marshal is uh, lance 
okay lance is the name of the marshal the name of that uh, talabati and um, uh, napoleon sent him so he planned very well and he to uh, total plan has given to lance by napoleon so he he thinks himself if lance lance means that marshal fail to catch ratis bend all my plans are will become worthless okay worthless and my reputation will will uh, come down so what i am going to do with this confusion he is waiting for the result okay this is a, a situation uh, napoleon is standing on a mount and there war is going on uh, after that what is going to happen we will see through poetic lines the poem describes an act of chivalry uh, what do you mean by chivalry chivalry means a very honest honest gallantry gallantry um, a courageous behavior patriotism and sacrifice on the part of a young french soldier so through this poem what we are going to see we are going to see the gallantry patriotism and brave of a young french soldier right i hope you can understand the outline story and uh, i hope you can um, get that uh, idea of the poem okay this is a theme of the poem and if we see line by line it will be easy to you try to enjoy the poem very sh uh, short poem and robert brown he has written in a very wonderful way so try to enjoy the poem okay students okay and uh, we will see the first uh, stanza you know we french stormed ratisben you know we french stormed rat ratis ratisben well see stormed rat ratisben is the name of the place to catch that place only that french and that war took place okay you know uh, before you enter into the poem you have to know about the narrator of the poem okay the narrator is not a poet robert browning uh, the narrator is one of the french soldiers this is very 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 important question okay so keep in that mind the narrator of the poem is one of the french soldiers okay one of the french soldiers is the narrator of the poem okay he is telling you know we french stormed ratisben you here are the reader us okay you know very well about us we french that french army we stormed rat, uh, ratisben stormed attack okay violent attack uh, we attacked ratisben a mile or so away on a little mount uh, napoleon stood on a storming day so we french army our army we went to catch ratisben and are a mile or so away so our chief our chief napoleon who was standing on a little mount uh, uh, what is the distance between the war field and napoleon a mile or so away a mile distance in a mile distance our napoleon uh, is standing on a mount war is going on stood on our storming day napoleon is sta standing on a mount but not in a relaxed way okay his mind is wavering okay storming day what do you why it is called a storming day because war is going on in the war uh, who is going to uh, win we don't know so that storming day what is going to happen in that a stressed mind napoleon is standing with a neck out thirst you fancy how what do you mean by neck out ne uh, neck out thirst that extended forward neck out thirst na extended forward mm, he is waiting for the uh, result okay with the neck out thirst enna nadakapodu apdingra or attitude you fancy how fancy imagination you imagine how how it is apdin here you is we okay you im fancy how how i'll tell okay those who are feeling that an ekot ostila or napoleon is waiting or how it is possible those who are thinking no for that people i am telling i am telling na yare one of the french soldier he is telling our napoleon who is standing on a mount how he is standing with legs wide just imagine that pictorial representation it has to come in front of your mind students then only you can enjoy the poems 
okay that napoleon is standing how he is standing his legs are wide and arms locked behind he hold his uh, hands at back okay back and when we are in uh, depressed mood when we are in angry what we will do we hold our hands back and we will walk here and there okay like that only our napoleon is standing as if to balance the prune brow what do you mean by prune brow prune brow na that inclined downward brow eyebrow okay eyebrow that uh, his eyes and eyebrow um, that we know very well uh, the feelings of our eye uh, which will be noted by our eyebrow only right without eyebrow we can't identify what feeling uh, we have okay and the eyebrow watch the whether we are in happy mood or else angry or else sad that with that eyebrow only we can identify so that only author has given as if to balance the prune brow the eyebrow it's coming downward inclined downward right abbe munna abbe rambu abbe varudhu appreciate with its that means what he is waiting for the result appreciate with its mind what do you mean by appreciate appreciate uh, very harsh okay domineering very harsh or uh, domineering with its mind very harsh na romba or stressed in that stressed mood he is standing on a mount legs wide hands hold, holding it back and he is waiting for the a result so this is our attitude in the first stanza we have seen that a narrator of the poem who is the narrator of the poem the narrator of the poem is one of the french soldier who is telling us about the war field and how our napoleon was right and one more important thing napoleon he didn't go to the war field who is standing near to the battlefield right and who is expecting uh, for the who is expecting the good result okay this is the first stanza we will move to the second stanza just as perhaps he mused okay just as perhaps he who is he here he is napoleon okay the king napoleon just as perhaps he mused what do you mean by mused that he is thinking very deeply okay maybe our king napoleon uh, he may think like this like this in a thing pandrare we will see mused means thinking very deeply here see they have given quotes so these are the words of a king napoleon from my plans to yonder wall these are all the words of our king napoleon boys my plans here my is napoleon right my plans that so to earth may fall so my plans i have given one plan to um, that uh, lands lands who is lands the marshal of the uh, french uh, army and uh, uh, that so to earth may fall so i have given a, a good plan uh, and what will happen my plans it may fall it may get failure let once my army leader lands who is lands lands is the marshal okay that commander of the french army let once my army leader lands waver at yonder wall okay what do you mean by yonder mm, yonder means see the far distance the far distance is called as yonder wall okay my uh, leader uh, my army leader who may uh, stand in the battlefield and who may wave his um, hands okay kai aatira maatana inna nadandichine appadinu he is expecting for the good result okay and uh, yonder means the far distance okay the far distance okay anga irundhu kai aatira maatana appadinu he is waiting appadi anga what he is coming to say my king napoleon inside the mind these are all the words okay yo yo enna nadanduchu enoda plan vandu flop aayirumo ayyo oru thadava vandu lands vandu anga irundhu kaiya aatittu ellame nalla padiya poitirukku appdin sollira maatana appdin his um, mind mind is thinking about this right and next out twist the battery smokes their flow twist means between okay how the war plays uh, just imagine twist the battery smokes their flow a rider bound on bound so when that king is thinking like this uh, uh, there that battery smokes uh, in between the between the smokes uh, there is a rider and who is coming in a in a in a sort of remember or a speed up he is coming bound on bound fastened he is very coming in fastened without controlling without controlling the horse 
ओके फर्स्ट एंड बाय विदाउट कंट्रोलिंग द हॉर्स फुल गैलोपिंग नॉर ब्रिडल ड्रू अंटिल ही रीच द माउंड फुल गैलोपिंग यू नो वेरी वेल फुल गैलोपिंग द हॉर्स वाज मूविंग अस फास्ट एस इट कुड गो ओके फुल गैलोपिंग ना कंप्लीट स्पीड नॉर ब्रिडल ड्रू what do you mean by brittle brittle no you know very well um the kadiwal on children la that the head uh, gear used to control a horse that gear that uh, the rider uh, who has to control a horse okay the control panna mudiyama until he reach the mount mount in mount only who is standing napoleon is standing so a rider is uh, coming to meet our napoleon and who is uh, coming with full galloping with full speed nor bridle draw and he control panna ad pidikama apdi full speed la he is coming to meet our king napoleon okay who is coming to give a news whether they got victory or not